Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Baseball News. I'm your host, Ivan Cito Perez, bringing you the latest summer baseball this offseason. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the Dodgers, guys. Yeah, the Dodgers. Anyway, <laughs> you know, the Dodgers, are, I think, have a good chance to make it the postseason once again. Led by the two best, best pitchers right now, Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke. Let's see, as well for Jesse Pui, playing probably is going to be put... On center field since Matt Kemp is gone. Probably going to use Andrew Ethier in right field again. They have now Rollins and uh, Howie Kendrick. I think Howie Kendrick was traded to the Dodgers, I guess, or, or was signed free agency. I do not remember that well. They have Adrian Gonz Adrian Gonzalez in first base. Uh, third base is going to be a little competition. You know, be Juan Uribe and other guys. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think they should, they should, they should be fine. Uh, yeah, I was about to say Rollins. Traded from the Phillies to the Dodgers a few weeks back. You know, yeah, like I said, uh, they should be fine. Probably they're going to have a better season than the Giants. Why not? They did last year. The Giants, well, you know, they got in by wild card game and won it all. So, it's not the first time a wild card team actually wins the World Series. I think the 2002 Angels did it. Why not? The, I, but I think the Giants, I mean, the, not the Giants, Dodgers <laughs> should be fine. Should be the... It's going to be very competitive, but I think I expect the uh, Dodgers to win the seat, the division, uh, probably with the best record in the division, like, or the National League, I don't know, they have the team to do it, uh, they're going to be led in the catching by Jasmine Grandal, that's another guy to watch out, also from the Padres to the Dodgers, the Padres were really busy, but we'll talk about them uh, probably Monday, keep your cool down, or tomorrow, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, they have, the lineup is going to be pretty solid, so uh, it's going to be fa a fast top of the lineup, probably. Howie Kendrick, Jimmy Rollins, Gonzalez, Pui, you know, Ethier, I don't know, however they want to line up. That, that's up to Don Maddenly, so, yeah, I mean, the Dodgers has a great team, has a great history, and it's a, one of the classic teams, like the Yankees, the Reds, the Red Sox. Anything like that, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, sadly they moved to from Brooklyn, but that's, you know, that's past, this is now. The Dodgers, uh, let's see, hmm, they probably have a good farm system, I'm not sure yet. They should be, again, like I keep saying, they should be fine in the NL West, pretty fine. But you have to be careful with the, you know, obviously the Padres right now, and the Giants, you cannot never take out the Giants. So it's going to be a big uh, battle for the for the top in the NL division, the West, between those three teams. But I'm going to give the edge to the eight, to the Dodgers, though. But probably have a better team, even though the the Padres have a uh, key players. But it's just oh, they can have the best team, but. Probably, I don't know, the pitching, I don't think it's right there yet. Probably, in uh, two, three years, they're going to be solid, a solid team. Well, they are a solid team now, but like a contention type of team for postseason runs and stuff. Probably in a, ne either next year or 2018. You never know. So, the Dodgers, are, with the team they have right now, they, they should be fine. But they, they should not keep their guard down. Not at all. Not as, especially not in that division. Giants, Padres, Dodgers. One, two, three right there. It's pretty harsh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. That that team that does. I don't know. That the only downside I seen is Clint Kershaw in the postseason. If you remember last postseason, this past right now, he got rocked by the Cardinals. You know, with uh, 0 and 2, two outings in the ALCS, and with a what seven some seven point something ERA, he, he won the Cy Young. He won the MVP during the season, but he struggled really, really bad in the postseason. Especially the one, game one and four. I think it was game one and four. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of sucked though because he's a great pitcher. You cannot take that. And he's still young, so hopefully he can start making him start making uh, performing better in the postseason. If they if they go that far this year, they should they should. But hey, weird thing has happened, alright? Well, that's it for this for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for more videos, uh, baseball news, and I'll see you next time, guys. Alright. Peace.